What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So it's no secret that the Boston Celtics uh, have not lived up to the expectations, the lofty expectations that many had when LeBron James switched conferences from the Eastern to the Western back in 2018. Many thought that it would be the Boston Celtics that would take the reins of the Eastern Conference and be a powerhouse. But instead, we've seen the rise of other teams since then. We've seen the Toronto Raptors win a championship under the guidance and leadership of Kawhi Leonard, who has since moved back to the Western Conference. We've seen the rise of Giannis Antetokounmpo, young Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Milwaukee Bucks win a championship just this past season, of course. We've seen the rise of the Chicago Bulls this year as a force in the Eastern Conference. We've seen the Miami Heat have a run to the finals. We've seen the uh, Atlanta Hawks uh, have a run last year in the playoffs. We've even seen teams that were perennial cellar dwellers, like the Washington Wizards and the Cleveland Cavaliers, at least become teams that no longer are they just easy uh, victories and teams that you could just pad your numbers on when, when you visit those cities. We've seen that even the New York Knicks have a run last year, but the Boston Celtics have been disappointing. They've been very disappointing, to say the least. And part of it <clears throat> has been, you know, the selfish play of their stars, primarily Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, all right? Um, and Bob Pettit called that out. He called that out in a recent interview where he said, basically, that, you know, both the Boston Celtics will not be raising number 18 anytime soon um, in the Raptors. He's talking about their 18th championship. Uh, it's not going to happen. And he said that the main problems that he's seen with Boston this year uh, in the last couple of years is that they lack a playmaker. Um. He, he talked about past playmakers. He brought up, um, you know, different guys that tried to play in that role before. He brought up uh, Kyrie Irving. Now, Kyrie Irving is a spectacular player, but Kyrie Irving, to me, is is not really a... He, he's capable of playing point, but he's more of a scorer. And, you know... Kimball Walker, kind of the same thing. Plus, Kimball Walker's a liability on the defensive end. What this team needs, I think Bob Pettit feels, is a high IQ pass first point guard that also plays defense, a floor general, uh, someone that can control the pace of these games, someone that could uh, rein in the other guys. And, you know, when things aren't going well, um, a guy that can calm the nerves of guys when things aren't going well, a guy that can control the pace and tempo of the game, if I haven't said it already, and a guy that can bring the team home when they have a lead and they need to keep their lead. One of the biggest problems with the Boston Celtics this year have been blown leads, uh, you know, and you have two guys, Jalen Brown. And Jason Taylor, who can score. I mean, it wasn't too long, a couple of days ago, when Jalen Brown poured in 50. No one can doubt that they can score. But they're not great playmakers. And most of their plays involve them trying to create shots for themselves. But they don't get other people involved as much. You know, they're not great playmakers in that aspect. And that's what Bob Cousy's talking about. And I believe he's 100% correct. You look at the Boston Celtics. They're in the bottom, what, fourth, near the, close to the bottom at least when it comes to assists per game. And, you know, when you look at Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, you just got a bunch of shot jackers. Guys getting their points, guys scoring. Uh, but, you know, as far as teamwork, you know, as far as getting the, you know, moving the ball around, it's, it's just not there. Now, at the same time, Bob Cousy pointed out that there aren't a lot of available uh, point guards of that magnitude right now. So, at the, you know, at the end of the day, 
you know, this might just be a lost cause for Boston. And for anybody to say Bob Cousy isn't, Bob Cousy isn't qualified, well, no one is more qualified than Bob Cousy. All right? He is the all-time assist leader for the Boston Celtics. Still, some, what, 59 years after he last played? Bob Cousy won six NBA championships. I believe he was a 10-time All-Star. I believe he led the NBA in assists some eight different times. No, excuse me, he was a 13-time All-Star. Two-time All-Star game MVP. The 1956-57 league MVP. 10-time All-NBA first team. Two-time All-NBA second team. He's on the 25th, 35th, 50th. And 75th NBA anniversary team. His number 14 is retired by the Boston Celtics. And for his career, he averaged 18.4 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 7.5 and assists. And the way that they called assists back then, they were a lot more stricter. You know, in today's league, you know, he might have averaged more around 9.5 assists for his career, you know, rather than 7.5. But you know, Boston ain't gonna win shit anytime soon, man. It ain't like not like Bob Cousy's line. You know, tell me what you guys think.